Hi guys, I'm getting ready to embark on a incredible oral health optimization journey. We know that the oral microbiome and our teeth and our oral cavity in general is incredibly impactful on our overall health. Everything from cardiovascular disease to brain health, or the way that we breathe and the structure of our mouth is all super important. So I've been seeing only a biological dentist, which I call the functional medicine of dentistry for the last probably five years, but I'm super excited. Since I've moved to LA, I just found this new biological dentist. She's absolutely amazing. So I'm going to walk you through everything that I'm doing. So I've already shared some of my oral healthcare routines in the morning, which I will constantly be refining. But today we're going to be doing an ozone cleaning. I've also talked about ozone in the past. So ozone is antiviral, antibacterial. It's really cleansing. And so here at Beverly Hills Dental Health and Wellness, they do all of their cleanings with ozone. So I can't wait to show you what that looks like. But there are a lot of toxic products. Actually, there was just a ruling on fluoride, which you know is very controversial. But at the end of the day, fluoride is a neurotoxin. So we want to avoid that. And that's why we're doing cleanings with, with things like ozone. Also today, I am getting wisdom tooth removed. So I've been wanting to get my wisdom tooth removed for a couple of years now. I only have one that needs to be removed, but I haven't done it because at the end of the day, if you don't choose someone who removes it in the right way, you can have things like cavitations. So today um, with my wisdom tooth removal, we're gonna be pulling up PRP or PRF actually, which is essentially platelet rich fibrogen. So it's gonna be derived from my own blood that we'll be used then to help heal the area in which the tooth is being removed. I will also be using ozone. I'll let the, the doctor tell you more about that, but I am excited for you guys to go on all of my oral health optimization journey with me. We're gonna be doing ozone today, right? Yes. And why do we use ozone for teeth cleaning? So for ozone, it's a natural occurring uh, compound. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we use ozone for in dentistry is for disinfecting. It's antimicrobial and it uh, stimulates the immune response and we're going to shoot. Great. It helps to kind of harden your gums, heal your gums. How is what you do here different than other practices you do like? So what you do here differently, one of the main things is a lot of our products that we use are non-toxic. We use ozone gas and ozone water. Mm -hmm. We also use the airflow. So our airflow system is what kind of sets us apart. Uh -huh. The airflow is a non-abrasive, very gentle uh, way of removing plaque and soft tartar. That one also uses the ozone into water. So that also flushes out any of the bacteria in your belt line. Great, I love that. did an ozone cleaning. It was fantastic. Really holistic, natural, most bioidentical way to clean your teeth. So thanks so much for doing that. I feel like I might be the most excited person to get a tooth out. I mean, you might be. I, that's why. I mean, it's very possible. <laughs> So I am embarking on this entire oral health optimization with you, which I'm so excited about. What is biological dentistry and how is your practice different than, you know, standard dentists? In biological dentistry, we, we always look at the mouth as being part of your body, mm -hmm. which believe it or not is uh, not the norm out there. We take out toxins from the mouth mm -hmm. in order for the body to be healthier mm -hmm. and toxins like metals such mm -hmm. as mercury, yeah. even stainless steel crowns, mm -hmm. which can cause currents in the mouth, and also jawbone cavitations and mm -hmm. infections that maybe don't cause any pain, but they can create brain fog and inflammation. So as biological dentists, we create an optimization of the mouth, like you call it, and also choose materials that are biocompatible to one's body. And mm -hmm. we do that via a blood test. So there's a lot of materials in dentistry that are actually not that compatible. They could cause inflammation or they maybe have BPA. A lot of families mm -hmm. have BPA. So we choose things that are BPA free, they're biocompatible, and we can verify all these 
through a test. First step, just so everyone's up to speed, you know, I mean, I've obviously prioritized my dental and oral care because I know that it's important. Um, I do, you know, the brushing and the oil pulling with the ozone and I have ozone. We talked about a bunch of the things that I'm doing, but now we're like taking it to 2.0 version. So I've had this wisdom tooth that I wanted to get out for literally years now, but I refused to go to like a traditional dentist because I was too concerned of how it was going to be done, what was going to be used. So I'm so blessed that I found you. We're also going to be doing a little bit of, remember on the side, are we doing something, doing some PRF? We are today. Yeah. So this is a treatment for gum recession. I love PRF or platelet rich fiber because it's really great growth factors to put at the gum mm -hmm. line, especially when your gums are just starting to recede because just uh, genetically you have nice thin delicate tissues. So this one, we give them actually a little bit of increased thickness so they can mm -hmm. withstand the chewing forces better, just like yeah. you do every day. So to prevent that recession. As a periodontist, uh, trained at UCLA, I'm constantly fixing gum recessions, but unfortunately I see them when they're too late. So now it's, you know, so good to do minimally invasive things. This is one of the things I specialize in to be able to prevent the gums from receding because anytime your gums recede, the bone recedes as well. Well, that's what's so exciting is because I feel like in dentistry, we have the ability still now to do like preventative care, right? Which is what we're doing. So we are like addressing something as we see it's in a very early stage. I'll probably just do that like every year or something. Because mm -hmm. you were starting to get some sensitivity there. So it's yeah. like the perfect time to do that, to thicken the gum. And also, you know, we were talking about sensitivity is a sign that the enamel is getting more porous, that the root is exposed. So the best way is to actually also add minerals mm -hmm. through that mineralizing tooth powder. Yeah, you know, it was such a bummer because our food obviously just doesn't have the mineral content as it mm -hmm. should, right? So, and it's crazy because I actually consume so many minerals, but I'm excited to in incorporate this new toothpaste into and the, yeah. the even the probiotics. So we'll go into all the details on like the long form podcast but like oral microbiome and testing I recently did like a test just to see you know my gut microbiome got really compromised when I did the antibiotic from the explant so it's this whole new journey of like making sure my gut microbiome is optimized again and then my oral microbiome so yeah because the mouth is the opening of the GI tract so we need to know what's going on here yeah looks like it's see so we did a saliva test here we're waiting for the test results we'll see I know well we'll give you an update on that and we're in Beverly Hills at dental health and wellness. So, I mean, I just love everything that you're doing. You're an amazing like woman leading in dentistry. So thank you for trusting me with your Thank you. You make it so easy. Out of God. Okay. Yeah.